gone. So I've finally got time to come on and do my third video this month for BB Craft and I'm working with the felt that they sent me, the pack of 40 sheets of felt. So I will link BB Craft and everything down below. So I thought I would make some little felt envelopes. So you can use these in journals, you can use them in all sorts of things actually. If you've got a smaller um, die, you could use them for pocket letters and things. I used this die, the chartered lace, it just says envelope. So I cut it out in this green colour. Now I did cut it out in this green one and I tried to use the Anita's Tacky Glue to glue it and it hasn't glued and I tried to use a fabric glue and it's not really gluing either it's tacky and I'm going to put it under something heavy but usually this glue grips straight away but it doesn't seem to want to glue the felt and my sewing machine isn't working because I've still not got the right um, needles so what I'm going to do is I've cut it out and it cut out perfectly actually I put it once through the machine and it cut out perfectly so I'm going to I've got some black thread, just a needle and thread, and I'm going to see what it's like. I chose the black so that it's contrasting. And let's see what it's like from the back. Just sewing it up. Now, I am terrible at sewing, but I am going to try. So, we'll go through this one here. I'm going to leave it at the back because I'll come off and tie it at the end. I know you're supposed to like do a wee knot and tie it but it's too fiddly. So I'm going to just quickly see if I can run a stitch up the side. There's hardly any overlap in this die so it's really difficult to sew it. Maybe I should have chosen something different but I really like it and I think it would look nice inside a journal so I'll go up and try not to pull my thread too much that I pull my stitch it you guys that are good at sewing are probably thinking what on earth Sam but it's something I've never even at school I was never good at sewing do you know that I mean, I can just about get by, like, sewing a, a hole in a pair of trousers or something. But apart from that. So I'm just going to go in and out. And I've got it it's doubled up, just because I think it'll be better. Because my stitches is rubbish, like I said. So it might hold it together a bit better. Are we not? How on earth? Honestly, like I take my hat off. See these people that can do all the the cross stitching and everything like that. It's so cool to look at, but you must have some amount of patience. Why is that going to not? Aha, there we go. And then we'll go in here, back up there. <laughs> oh my god, this is mental. And then there. And then I'll go back in that one. This is totally rubbish, but I think it's going to look nice. Even though my sewing's not that good, I think it'll still look cool. Right. And then I'm going to go back in there. Like that. And I'll take this off. And I'll 
see, well that's going to be too hard to try and grip that and tie it. But anyway, you get the idea, it would be a nice wee sewed envelope. So you can do that with it and make a wee sewn envelope. Obviously if your sewing's better than mine. Or, let's see, I'm going to pick a different die. Okay, so I've pulled out this one. It's the Tonic Vines and Moments Index Card Die Set. Because, let's have a look and see if I can cut out a felt index card. I am um, going to be taking part in a Christmas challenge. Um, it's actually for Lynn. I'm going to do a VR for her for Lynn from um, Lynn's, what is it, Shabbalicious. My gosh, my brain's not working. Um, oh, you know what I mean, guys. But I'm going to do a separate VR for her anyway. I watch Lynn's channel a lot. She'll love it. And she's asking us to make memory decks cards for her. So let's see if I can get the felt to make a really ornate one. Do you think it'll cut? Mm. What colour will I choose? Well, since it's a Christmassy kind of theme... That she's asking for. We'll go for the red. Let's bring the plates in. Take off the envelope die and that green. And let's see. So I don't know if this will be too much. We'll go that way so there's not got as many cutting points to go across. Try and straighten it up a wee bit. Yep, and I'll run this through and see if it cuts or no. So let's just pop this through the Gemini. And we'll see if this felt cuts. I'm actually really impressed with this felt. I made the, the journal cover the last time and it's really good. As much as I can to get it to stick to the glue, I think felt is more for sewing and things anyway. Maybe you guys would know a glue. You could tell me a glue that you think will work with the felt. And look at that. That's actually, wow, that's cut out perfectly. Let's get this out of the way. Look at that. Yeah, really impressed with that felt. That is actually so cool. So then I would probably actually, do you know what? We could use, I wonder if the red liner tape would work. Do you think that would work? Let's see, I'm gonna grab a green piece of card just to stick to the Christmassy theme. That's quite nice actually. That's a green um, mirror board. That's quite nice. You can try that. So let's put some, so yeah, definitely let me know, like I said, I know that felt's more, you can, you do a lot of sewing with it and things like that, but if you know a glue that's really good for sticking felt as well, definitely let me know and I will get it because I am really liking working with this felt, I'm glad I chose it this month, it's just something a wee bit different. So if I go like that there... And a couple of bits in the centre. Like that. And let's see. Oh, I hate taking off this red liner tape. It's it never it's you get it off and then it sticks to you. Right. See? That one. This die is actually really nice. I forget all about this die. And it's got the wee bit as well that you can actually put, I'll show you, the wee tab. Come on. Is it just me that has this bother with this tape? Um, ah, it's got the wee tab that you can use to make it into a proper memory decks. I'll show you that in a wee sec. I might do that actually. Off you come, off you come, come on. It's like watching paint dry. <laughs> I 
Right. There we go. Bought it. So I'll bring in this. Oh, get off. Now it's sticking to my... And... Let's pop this on the corner here. Wait a minute. I've got a wee bit stick in it. I didn't want that to stick it. So let's stick this on here. Uh, it's, it's, it's sticking absolutely no problem with the red liner tape. Oh, that's nice. I like that. So then, let's just cut this excess off. Do you know something? I've just had an idea. A second. Sorry, that's my neighbour shouting on his dog next door. Um, I've just noticed there's a wee bit. Where is it? Where is it? Where did you go? i seen a wee bit that wasn't... Aha, there it is. Was that meant to come out? Uh, yep, there we go. So look at that. That's really cool. Now, I know it's not stuck down the side, but I've had an idea. You could actually put a tag in behind there. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, you could cut the red liner in, in half if you wanted to, but you could put like a wee ticket in there or, or even it, or I've stuck in that middle bit, but if you didn't want to, you could use it and slide something inside it. So that's pretty cool. But then you get the this wee bit here that makes the tab bit to go on the top to make it an, an actual memory dex. So we'll cut that out. Let's just pop it on. This machine, we'll use the wee Gemini, and we'll just take a bit of the green card, put that on there, and then put that through. I've got so much on my desk. Oh, I went and um, I won a, a giveaway that Chanel was doing. Her channel name is Stampin' and Stilettos. Oh, oh, that always makes me smile. I love the name of that. Stampin' and Stilettos. How cool a channel name is that? And she sent me some amazing eyelets. This full bag of eyelets. But she's fantastic for journal covers and tags and things. And a full bag of buttons. So thank you, Chanel. I won those. And then... I've dropped one. She put in some extras, these beautiful, what do you call these again? Like the slides. And they're really cool. All different ones I can use. And then she put in a couple of wee gorgeous vintage photographs. So thank you, Chanel, sweetheart. And I will pop Chanel's channel, guys. If you're not familiar with Stampin' and Stilettos, I'll pop that down in the description box because she's lovely. Really, really lovely. Uh, she's always got her cat in her video and she's just a really nice person actually. So, let me see this wee guy. This is cut off. Nice tidy desk as usual. And then all you do is snip it at the edge. Like that. You see, so you get your, your tab and it's done the wee embossed lines and things in the wee holes. So that's really cool. And then just do it to whatever size you want it. So I don't want it to be too big, but I do want it to stick over the top. So let's see there. Actually, I'm just going to leave it at that size. Let me just double check where I want it to. Yeah. So I'm going to pop my glue on there. I'm not going to decorate this all up because I am going to decorate it and send it to Lynn Noakes Shabbylicious. There you go. My brain's working again. Lynn Noakes Shabbylicious. She's having a challenge just now. A memory deck challenge. I'll link that down below as well, guys. So I don't want to fully decorate this because I'm going to send it out. So I want it to be a wee surprise. But yeah, just using the felt to make um, a memory deck and... You can use them to make little envelopes as well if you're better at sewing than what I am. Because 
honestly my sewing is rubbish but you can see where I was going with it you can use your dies and things on the felt and make little envelopes and make memory decks cards and things like that so it's pretty cool so that's my third BB craft project for this month guys I hope you like it I'll link everything down in the description box along with Lynn's channel and Chanel's channel and thank you for watching hit me a thumbs up bye bye